All right, so the Madrid draw for the ladies has just come out, and there are some insane first round matches. There's some really crazy matches in the second round as well. But let's go have a look at who's not playing in this one because we do have some big names missing. All right, so the big names that are pulled out of this one. So Bencic, she's not going to be here for this event. Of course, Kvitova as well, both pulling out because they are in out of action for the year, falling pregnant. You've got uh, Mukova pulling out as well. She won't be playing for a long time because of the wrist surgery she had. Apagula. Also pulling out of this one, and Simona Halep will also be missing from this one. But man, there are some crazy matches in the first round. Let's go have a look at the top of the draw. Okay, top of the draw, we have Sviantek, number one seed. Gets to buy in the first round. She'll take on either Wong or Bogdan in the second round. Then we got Iala taking on Sharenko. Winner of that will take on the number 27 seed, Kastea, in the second round. Then you got the number 23 seed, Azarenka. She gets to buy in the first round. She'll take on either Maria or Stearns in the second round. Then you got Tormo taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 16 seed, Svetolina, in the second round. So not a bad draw for Sviantek. You know, she doesn't have any real nightmare opponents. Players, you know, boogie woman, as we like to call them. Uh, Svetolina is tough, though. You know, Svetolina did beat her at Wimbledon last year. Um, Steyer is capable, also as a, uh, as a ranker. But uh, you got to watch out for Sviantek, of course. Got to watch out for Svetolina, Azarenka as well, and Kastea, the seeds. But I would also be watching out for Tormo. Very dangerous at home. Can play on clay as well, so definitely keep an eye on out for her out of the unseeded player. All right, next section of the draw we've got. Number 11 seeded Ajmai gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either a qualifier or Wozniacki in the second round. Then we've got Buzkova taking on Siniakova. Winner of that will take on the number 19 seed Navarro in the second round. Then we've got the 28 seed Mertens. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Stevens or Trevison in the second round. Now, Stevens just won a title this week. Trevison beat Osaka this week on clay, so very awkward section of the draw there. Then you've got Vekic taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number five seed, Zachary, in the second round. So, gotta watch out for Haddad Meyer. Made the semifinals of the French last year. Also, Zachary, former semifinal of the French. Uh, but I'd be watching out for Steven, you know, as an unseated player here. Very dangerous, especially when she's in form, and she is in form. And uh, also, Wozniacki being uh, back on clay for the first time, I think, in her comeback. So, Really interesting little section here of the draw. Okay, next section of the draw. We've got the number three seed, Goff. Gets by in the first round. She'll take on either Brenda Fruvitova or Roos in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Nisimova. Winner of that will take on the number 31 seed, Yastremska, in the second round. Then you've got Keys, the 18th seed. Gets by in the first round. She'll take on either Bagu or Linda Fruvitova in the second round. Then you've got Naomi Osaka taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 15 seed, Samsonova, in the second round. Great to see Osaka back in Madrid. I think she might have done well here a, a little bit ago. I can't remember if she maybe 2018, 17. I think she did okay here. But uh, interesting section. Of course, you've got to watch over Goff in this one. In need of a little bit of form on the clay. Hasn't really been, wasn't really great last week. Uh, also got to watch out for Samsonova as well. Is capable on clay. But I'll be definitely watching out for Osaka and also Anissimova on the clay as the unseeded players because both of them have coming back with protected rankings. So got to watch out for them. Especially Anissimova who made a French Open final uh, a few years back. Alright, and the next part of the draw we've got the number 9 seed Ostapenko. Gets by in the first round. She'll take on either a qualifier or Bedosa in the second round. I mean, that's a crazy second round. Then you got Rodokana versus Pliskova. The craziest first round of them all. Winner plays Kudamatova, who I think made the semis here last year. So the 17th seed, very tough draw there. Then you got the 32nd seed, Fernandez, taking, uh, gets a buy in the first round. She was taking either Schneider or Potapova in the second round. Then you got Kennan taking on Schmidlova. Winner to play the 8th seed on Stubur. This section is insane. There are, like, almost got to watch out for everybody in this draw. It's insane. But you got to watch out for Jabur, of course. You got to watch out for Ostapenko as the two big ones. Uh, you've also got to watch out for Kudamatova. And Fernandez, very capable on clay, but unseated players. You've got to watch out for Bedosa. You've got to watch out for Rodokanu. You've got to watch out for Pliskova. And you've also got to watch out for Kennan in this one as the unseated players. Insane part of the draw. And of course, this section of the draw will take on the Sviantek section. So we could be getting in the semifinals. Sviantek taking on Goff. We could be getting Sviantek taking on uh, Jabur. If you want to go with something a little different, if you think Jabur can survive her section, maybe Sviantek takes on Penko, which would be kind of wild. Uh, or if you want to go with something a little bit different, maybe Goff takes on Zachary. If you don't think Sviantek's going to make it, maybe Goff taking on, maybe Goff taking on Svetolina, or Goff taking on Adaj Maia, maybe Jabur Adaj Maia, like we saw at the French Open quarterfinals last year. But that section, the second section there with Jabur involved is insane. Next section of the draw, we've got the number six seed, Jung, gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Putin Seva or Yuan in the second round. Then we've got Wong taking on Dollarhide. Winner of that will take on number 30 seed, Kalanina, in the second round. Then you've got Pavlyuchenko for the 20th seed, gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on a qualifier in the second round, because we've got two qualities going at it. Then you've got Martic taking on Buxa. Winner of that will take on the number 10 seed, Kazakina, in the second round. This section's kind of open, because there's no real standouts to say, you know, this person is playing well, and 
Well, this person is uh, guaranteed to win. But you gotta watch out for Zhang. You know, can play on clay. We saw, uh, we've seen that. Uh, gotta watch out for Dasher, who might be the most informed player in this section because, of course, Dasher did make the Charleston final a couple weeks ago. Uh, Pavlyuchenkova, Kalanina, both got to look out for them as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know. There's no real standout in this section. Maybe Dasha. Maybe it is Dasha. All right, next section of the draw, we've got the number 14 seed, Alexandrova. Gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Habino or Kruger in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Blinkova. Winner of that would take on the number 24 seed, Kalinskaya, second round. Then you've got Kostruk, the number 25 seed. Buy in the first round. She'll take on either Davis or Sharif in the second round. Then you've got Bronzetti taking on a qualifier. Winner to play. The number four seed, Rabakina, who just won Stuttgart, and she just beat Kostruk to do it. So we could get a rematch there in the third round between those two if they continue to win. But of course, you've got to watch out for Rabakina. Got to watch out for her. She's in so good, such good form this year, not just this week, but in uh, in this season. Made five finals already, and the courts might suit her. Uh, you've also got to watch out for Kostruk, of course. Played really well last week, beating a couple of top 10 players. Kalinskaya, very dangerous as well. Also, Alexandrova is known to get, uh, get some big wins. And has got a big win. Beach Fiontech this year already. Uh, so very interesting section uh, of the draw here with uh, with some really recent players as well. Of course, getting a rematch of the Stuttgart final could happen. And the bottom section of the draw, the final section, we've got the number seven seed, Von Drusova. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Zhang or uh, Rogers in the second round. Then you got Mira Andreeva taking on Townsend. Winner of that will take on the number 29 seed, Noskova, the second round. Then you got Garcia, the 21st seed, gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Wong or Tomova in the second round. Then you've got Zhu taking on Jimenez. Winner of that will take on the number 12 seed, Paulini, in the second round. And again, a little bit of an open section. You know, Von Drusen played well last week, though. You know, made the semis of uh, Stuttgart. We had Paulini do well last week, going to the quarterfinals. Garcia also, and, and same with Noskova. So a little bit open. I don't think there's really a big standout. I gotta watch out for Von Drusova, gotta watch out for Paulini, gotta watch out for Garcia, and gotta watch out for Noskova. Also on Draver, of course, you've always gotta watch out for her when she's unseated because of what she did this time last year at this event. So yeah, I mean, a little bit open in this uh, in this section. And the bottom section of the draw, we've got the number 13 seed, Colin, who's in great form, gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either the winner of Burl or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Freya taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 22 seed, Krajikova, in the second round. Krajikova versus Collins. Third round, potentially. That could be fire. Then you got the number 26 seed, Bolter. Gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Montgomery or Avanesian in the second round. Then you got Lynette taking on Cochioretto. Winner of that will take on the number two seed and defending champion, Rina Sabalenka. Sabalenka versus either Collins or Krajikova in a fourth round is absolute fire. Uh, Lynette, by the way, has been informed, so that could be an interesting second round with Lynette versus Sabalenka. But you got to watch out for Sabalenka, of course, and you've got to watch out for Danielle Collins. She's won two titles in a row, and one of those was on clay. So got to watch out for Collins in this section. Also, Krajikova, you know, she can come good. It does have her best result being a French Open on clay. So, you know, got to watch out for her. And I'd be watching out for Lynette as well, because Lynette has got some recent form by making a final this week. And the winner of this section will take on the winner of the Rabakina section. So we could be getting Sabalenka Rabakina. We could be getting Sabalenka versus Zhang. If you think Zhang's going to come good this week, maybe Sabalenka versus Dasha. If you want to go with some uh, some better, uh, more recent form, if you don't want to go with Rabakina, but if you want to go with Rabakina, you might go with Rabakina versus Von Drusso. Maybe Rabakina takes on Paulini again, like she did last week. Or a serious possibility based on form, you could go Rabakina taking on Colin in a semi final. That would be kind of fire, a rematch of what happened in Miami. Let me know who's going to win in Madrid. I don't know if it's clear cut. I mean, the easiest pick would be Rabakina, I guess, because she's in form. Court service might you know, favor her. Her draw's not bad. Uh, Sviontek, of course, uh, made the final last year. Uh, Sabalenka beat her in that final. And those three have, have not got a bad draw. They could all probably get to the semis. It's that golf section that's the tough one. So... You know, maybe it's Fiontech, maybe Sabalenka goes back to back. But uh, man, what a fun tournament it's going to be. Madrid is absolutely stacked in the first couple of days. Make sure you join us when they start on Tuesday.